and wake up to your corrupt criminal government that doesn't care about you. They only care about profits. Uh, just a quick generic question, Derek. Why are you here today? Because I love Canada. I love democracy and what Harper, the regime, is doing to Canada is dismantling our fundamental freedoms. They're attacking scientists, environmentalists, uh, civil rights, human rights, you name it, along the, down the board. People are being attacked in this country. They don't want us to have a say in our democracy. And uh, this is in tandem, in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street, uh, the one-year anniversary. And also, this is the day that Parliament resumes. We have hundreds of people up in Ottawa today with uh, the Ontario Federation of Labour showing support for workers because they're being under attack in this country. We're going to see massive cuts. What this government is engaged in is the election fraud, illegal, um, illegal bills that they're passing through, like uh, Bill uh, C-30, the spying bill on Canadians. Sure, yeah. We temporarily defeated that. There's also the budget bill that they tried to, that they streamlined through. The Auditor General of Canada, the budget watchdog, said that they're illegally suppressing uh, the transparency on $5.2 billion worth of cuts yet to come. And another budget watchdog just recently took them to court on the F-35 fighter jets, and they literally took them to court, took the budget watchdog to court to suppress the budget watchdog. Yeah. So we literally have a dictatorship in Canada. People have to wake up to it. I'm just here trying to engage Canadians. I'm trying to start the conversation with everybody that's happening across the country. Yeah. And it's important that civilian journalists, that activists, that people that care about the future of this country get involved. Absolutely. And we have a website, a community online. It's called OccupyCanada.org. Yep. And right now we have 52,000 people mm -hmm. that are there, that are getting, that are getting the news, that are that's accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's the first part is informing people and, and allowing people to have a say and stepping up. And I think that's why we have the open mic here. Yeah, so everybody can speak up. You know. So would you say it's working then? It's I mean, working. Is yeah. I mean, uh, have, we, have we got a future as citizens? Is this I think we have to we have to keep going on in the long run because this yeah. isn't going to be a battle that we're going to win overnight. We can't just yeah. go to one peaceful protest. Yeah. We have to go to multiple ones. Absolutely. We have to stand in solidarity with our scientists that are protesting across yeah. the country, with the doctors that are against the refugee health care cuts. Yeah. I mean, they are attacking social services probably all because they have, they're have they putting their money into military spending, mm -hmm. like the F-35 fighter jets, the billion dollars that are going to arm drones, sure, yeah. the agenda to privatize the prisons when crime rates are at their lowest point in 40 years. Mm -hmm. And now we got corrections officers protesting across Canada because of the double bunking and uh, yeah, the terrible conditions, terrible and, conditions yeah. and gang gangs battling in the jails. Yeah, and that's like a crisis that they, this Harper government, created. Yeah, you know, and they brought in a, an American corporation called GEO, uh, which is an American corporation that is connected to Stephen Harper. Okay, and they're going to profit off of billions of dollars off of these, this privatization of jails if they if they're allowed to streamline that through. Yeah. So I mean, the environmental sector has been dismantled, mm -hmm. assessments that were a uh, fabric of our democracy to debate if these pipelines are good for communities or not. Yeah. Elections Canada yeah. too. I mean. Elections Canada has been dismantled. Sure. Uh, basically they cut the funding by seven and a half million during an ongoing investigation into election fraud. Yeah. Also the Conservatives. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? <laughs> if you could do that, you go to court. No, no we're going to get yeah, rid of the judge. Budget, yeah, show sorry. You charge. Yeah. Also they uh, blocked evidence from being submitted into court cases. Mm. Seven writings that are disputed with the Council on Canadians. Yeah. So I mean basically it's targeting, attacks, suppression, you name it, this is what this government is engaged in. Yeah. I like to say, Stephen Harper is not the Prime Minister, he's the Crime Minister. Yeah, I like that. That's what he is. That's good. <laughs> so, I mean, you can go on Occupy Canada, uh, I encourage people to go on there to be informed. 52,000 Canadians, we're growing numbers each and every week, it's growing. And uh, I think this is a movement from open media to Council of Canadians to the scientific community to the doctors. This is an unprecedented revolution that we've ever seen. Yeah, it affects so many it different groups everybody. at once, right? Public Just have to get everyone together. Unions. Yeah. So it's going to take everybody coming together, native groups, yep. um, also uh, people that are against just the attack on basic freedoms and democracy. In this yeah. It's one one enemy. That's yeah, the thing. Enemy. There's yeah. a lot of causes, but and there's Harper one enemy. The puppet, he works for the corporations and the banksters. Sure. And uh, you know they're um, they're they're drumming 
the Iran war. That's yeah. what they're doing. They're, they're drumming for a war. Absolutely. And yeah. basically, we don't want that. It's propaganda, just like they lied about weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. And uh, they want to send Canadians off to fight for a war for profits. Yeah. And we can't allow that. And they want the distraction from their criminal acts as well. That's what a war, a war does in Iran. Yeah, it absolutely. makes us look off in the Middle East yeah. and not pay attention to what they actually engage yeah. in. Yeah. So, cross the line. We don't want GMOs coming into our country. Uh, it's voluntary that they do the labeling, and we want it to be mandatory. Yeah, most That's of the world it is, yeah. right? Absolutely. Just here, Canada, right? We're, it's not. Yeah. And he's allowing the GMO companies like Monsanto to come in. That's mm -hmm. why they illegally uh, dismantled the wheat board, the Canadian wheat board. Sure, yeah. You know? Yeah, 60% voted against it, and they still, right. they still did it. They were found to be illegal. Yeah. That's, it's, I mean, it's sometimes people feel like it's overwhelming, but that's why going to one community page or multiple to get the information and mm -hmm. then you're engaged. Sure, yeah. And you know you have to do something. you got to stand with your fellow Canadians. Absolutely. So we need to take back Canada, and that's what we need to do across the country. And it's going to be, we need to be in for the long haul. Absolutely. And we need to defeat Harper in the streets because he has dismantled the parliamentary process as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to be around for the next 50 years and have yeah. a, you know, an <laughs> actual social uh, system yeah. and... and Sustainable yeah. community. We need uh, better technology, not mm -hmm. pipelines. Yeah. You know, we have the technology. Sure. We yeah. have the solar panels. We have uh, different forms of technology that we can create in Canada. Germany is doing it. Other countries yeah. are doing it. Yeah. We need to step up, and it shouldn't just be about profits. It should be about the longevity of our future generations. Sure. And that's what we need. We're fighting not for ourselves, actually, for the future generations of Canada. Mm -hmm. and we got to put our foot down. Say enough is enough. Yeah. This is it, right? This is it. Yeah. If not now. Now when? Yeah, when. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Derek. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, I appreciate, appreciate everything you do. Thank you. All right.